Kings wearing their third jerseys tonight, Dave. You think that will be a favorite in the playoffs? I, I think that it'll show up a couple times in the playoffs. I know they have it planned for at least one game in the Fred Page. Um, exactly what they'll do during the playoffs, I don't know, but uh, I don't think they want to overuse them. But uh, they sure look sharp, though, don't they? I know you don't like them be so much because of the numbers. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like them. It's just uh, the numbers are hard to pick up sometimes. But that's my problem. I'm only one set of eyes out of a whole bunch. Maybe I'm just getting older. Now Kelly tried to center, coming out from the corner. Here's Cross, lost it. Campbell into Sweeney. Sweeney scores! Patrick Sweeney, top shelf, and it's 8 2 Kings. Sweeney just outweighed McDonald. Snapped it. Nice little wrist shot. And Sweeney, that's his fourth point. Have a look, he's just gonna cut across. And he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting, and then McDonald doesn't move. He goes high short side, and McDonald didn't even flinch. Well, the Lumber Kings have Lumber. blown this Goal. one wide Goal. open. Goal. Now an 8-2 lead still, over 13 minutes left in the third. Sure it looks like they're really trying to get Campbell that hat trick. Here's a two on none to Reimer Walter Scott. Campbell scores! Hat trick! Scott just, Campbell! I was about to say they're going to see a lot of Scott Campbell in this last half of this period. And they're going to be looking for him, and there they are. Jason Walters, I don't know how he didn't score on that first one. It was a two on O. And Darren McDonald has been hung out to dry by his teammates. As you got a two on O with Adam Reimer and Jason Walters. A couple of uh, multi point guys. And they'll go pass back and forth. And this one comes right off the post. And something about Post and Walters tonight. And that's the second time he's had one. Uh, we'll, I think we'll keep it at the ice level if we can here. Uh, the championship trophy for winning the regular season about to be presented. A tremendous season for the Pembroke Lumber Kings here. 50 wins, only seven losses. A one loss, or sorry, one tie, one overtime loss. 102 points. It's really quite a remarkable year indeed. And you can see the players staying on the ice. There will be a trophy presentation that will be made. It's been 17 years since the Pembroke Lumber Kings finished first in the Central Junior Hockey League regular season. So it is a special moment here for the Kings. And it'll be Jason Walters, the captain. As some of the fans stick around to Watch Jason pick up the trophy, which is being presented by Marianne Tamman, actually. The fans uh, applaud the Lumber Kings. And as the Kings have had, as we said, a terrific season, and hopefully the best is yet to come as the CJHL playoffs will start a week from tonight here at the Pembroke Memorial Center. And you can't get a better setting for a Junior A game. This venerable old building that has seen so much great playoff hockey over the years as now the Lumber Kings head to the dressing room, I'm sure for a mild celebration perhaps, but one that is well deserved after winning 50 games in the regular season and losing only seven times all year. So playoff scene center, uh, they win easily here tonight against the Bears 9-2 team. They're probably going to hit the first round. You can never go in too overconfident. But if you just look on paper, the Lumber Kings are obviously a heavy, heavy favorite. Oh, absolutely. I think the biggest challenge of the Kings is not to... Puck will drop at 7 o'clock PMC. Tickets are on sale now. $10 for adults for all playoff games. It has been a pleasure bringing you Lumber King Hockey live here on TV Kojiko all season long. We're going to be back for the Fred Page Cup in late April. And perhaps we'll see you for a few playoff games as well, depending on how far the Lumber Kings go on this road to the Central Junior Hockey League Championship. For Dave Noppy, Murray Kite, our producer, Tiana Kutecki, and the entire TV Kochiko crew, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the playoffs or at the Fred Page Cup. Good night.